Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to calculate this in your head. The square root of 36% minus 6%. Is it A, B or C? I can imagine that some of you might say, that's easy, it's just the square root of 36, so we get 6, so we have 6% minus 6%, so it's just 0, it's answer B. Is that correct? Let's see how we can calculate this. Here we have the square root of 36%, not only the square root of 36. So let's write the 36% in a different way so that we can use it a little bit better for our calculations. We can always write a percentage as a fraction. So instead of 36%, we can take the 36 and percent stands for divided by 100. And we can do the same here. We can write the 6% as a fraction. We just take the 6 and then we divide it by 100. And now let's simplify this. The square root of 36 first, which equals 6, yes, but then we have in the denominator the square root of 100, which equals 10. We subtract 6 over 100, and now we only have to subtract these two fractions. We can only do it if the denominators are the same, so let's bring this denominator to 100 as well by multiplying by 10, but we have to do this in the numerator as well, so that we get 6 times 10 equals 60, and in the denominator now we have our 100, the same denominator as here, now we are allowed to subtract. 60 minus 6 equals 54, and we take the denominator of 100. This is our result, 54 over 100. So it is not answer B, but is it answer A or is it answer C? 54% or 0.5%. 5,4%. Let's write this as a fraction. So we can always write the percent as over 100. So we take the 54 over 100. Ha! That's exactly what we had. So it is answer A. It's not answer C because this would be 0.54 over 100, which is not this fraction here. So we found our answer and solved this problem. I hope you liked it. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!